So we're going to change out the cord loop on a Duet Easy Rise shade. And when we take a look at this, I've got this cord here that's coming through this end cap on the end of my shade. And what I want to do when I do this is I kind of want to grab hold of the bottom rail and the end cap all with my hand here and pull the head rail back. I don't want to pull the end cap out because the, the shaft inside the head rail here is held onto the clutch with this 564 inch Allen screw here. So I'm going to take my Allen wrench and undo the screw here. Go ahead and remove my Easy Rise clutch. And I've basically got the clutch out of the shade now at this point. I want to change this cord loop out. Maybe I ordered them with 60, uh, 36 inch cord loops and I wanted a 48 inch cord loop. Um, I also have, this is the old cord in this particular clutch here. I have a new cord from Hunter Douglas that's a little softer cord. Uh, the one, the old cord here is knitted. I have a new braided cord from Hunter Douglas. It's supposed to do better in environment in the UV and the heat of the window. It's also supposed to have a stronger cord weld. Um, so a big improvement in the cord for this product. So I'm going to go ahead and change out this existing cord here to a longer cord and to go ahead and do that I need to take a look at this clutch here. There's two attachments here on the bottom of the clutch and two attachments here on the top of the clutch. So I'm going to go ahead and take my millwright scribe here and just pop these tabs up. Pop the left tab, right tab up, pop the left tab up and go ahead and remove that cover off. The bottom two tabs will just rock off here and the cord loop does go through the cover here and if I look inside here this doesn't look too difficult to do I've got my cord loop going around the clutch here. Something I can do is just walk it off. Just grab onto the cord and drive the clutch around using the cord and remove the cord very simply there. Something I want to point out to you at this point is the new clutches from Hunter Douglas have a ceramic feature here. It's plastic impregnated with ceramic so as the cords rubbing over these two surfaces here it won't saw and burn into that plastic. It's a ceramic feature. It's made to take a lot of heat. I'm going to go ahead and put my new cord loop in. Something I have to do with my new cord loop is I have to take the end cap off of the old cord loop here, insert my new cord loop through the end cap first here, pulling the end cap cord through the end cap. And then I just want to walk my cord around and I'm pushing in on the clutch here while I'm walking the cord around. The reason I'm pushing in on the clutch is the clutch can lift up and pull out very easily. I have that uh, rectangular feature here inside the clutch and I have this rectangular feature here. This is what drives that clutch there. So I want to line those two up. If that pops out, just go ahead and rotate it in until it drops into place. Drops in. Press in while I'm walking the cord around the clutch. Press in. Walk it around. Oops, it popped out again. Rock it into place. Make sure you push down while you're walking the cord around here. And it's going to go walk right around. I want to make sure the cord's on the two features of the ceramic component here. Pull the cord through the end cap and rotate my end cap on. And the cord has to flow through the end cap here. I want to make sure I've got a nice even travel. I'm going to line it up on my four connectors here. Here and here and here snap it all together. Make sure the cord's not in the way. Make sure it operates nice and smooth. We're getting good rotation there. It's ready to go back into the head rail here. I'm going to turn it so my Allen screw's kind of up so I can see what's going on there. And something I have to remember is the end of the fabric here, the fabric slat has to fit into this feature down here underneath the clutch. So what I want to do in this situation is I want to bring the fabric over, put the drive shaft in the clutch here, this V-notch here lines up with the notch in the shaft here. Line it up, stick it in. Then I'm going to stick the fabric on through into that bottom feature. Oops, I'm not snapped on all the way there. Stick it into the bottom feature of this end cap here so that it goes all the way to the end of the end cap. Can you see that there on the bottom? So it's all the way out to the end of the end cap there. At this point I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the shaft. and slide the head rail on. I want to put that fabric in the end cap and then slide the head rail on. Now my fabric comes all the way over here to the end cap and I've just changed out to my beautiful new clutch cord for my Duet Easy Rise shade.